What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell and I'm making a quick commercial here for seercustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Oxano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxano. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys. And I send you tremendous love and light. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jay Campbell, of course, the founder of the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual Zoom studio with a very cool dude who has now become a very good friend of mine, Lance. Hopefully I will not butcher your last name, Lance Shuttler, correct? Correct. Wow, correct. I got it. Lance, how are you, brother? Good to see you. Great. How about you, Jay? Awesome, man. So you guys, Lance's bio, he's actually the owner of a company that I'm going to be promoting the living hell out of called EMF Harmonized. Uh, I met Lance through Michael Jaco. I started reading about his company. I'm very obviously versed in electromagnetic frequencies and how they are, how harmful they are to biological systems. And I started reading about Lance's stuff and I was like, wow. And then obviously Michael Jaco told me about very good things about Lance. And all I can tell you guys is Lance and I have had three conversations now and he is of the highest vibrational nature. I rarely skip people around in my podcasts um, to promote work. And Lance is one of those people. So, you know, let me just give you a little bit about his bio before we start talking about all the things we're going to talk about. So he graduated from the University of Iowa with a bachelor's degree in health science. And of course, he's the owner of EMF Harmonize, which is a unique electromagnetic field protection technology, which we'll talk a lot about today on the show. And he's also the co-founder of Ascent, awesome name, Nutrition, which is a holistic nutrition and nutraceutical company. So he's a perfect guy to be on the Jay Campbell podcast. He's also a board member of Master Shift, which is a nonprofit dedicated to conducting global meditations. And he's also a board member of Free Food Now, a nonprofit dedicated to helping people find free food at the time they need it and working towards achieving large scale global food abundance for all. Um, he's a facilitator and collaborator of big ideas, visions, and projects that spark creative and healing solutions to complex challenges in our world. So again, this guy is very altruistic. And he's a perfect guy to be on the Jay Campbell podcast. So brother, man, truly appreciate you coming on. How are you? Great. I really appreciate being here, Jay. Uh, you are spreading so much light and so much knowledge and wisdom. And I'm really happy to be, you know, happy, happy and honored to be here with you because you're doing such good things. You're connecting with such great people. You already are connected with such great people and you know, the conversation before this, you and I set a strong intention with this and I know we're going to follow through on it. Yeah, brother, for sure. And let me just say too, um, you know, Lance's podcast is going to come out on the 23rd, which is two days before Christmas, which is uh, for people who are aware, you know, not what it's made out to be, but obviously people of the light have made that holiday um, what it should be. And we're obviously strongly, um, creating fields or resonant fields to make it even better, which we'll talk about on this podcast. But uh, you are uh, going to be involved in the global meditation around the solstice. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. You want to uh, give a little plug to that real quick? Yeah. So uh, on December 21st at 1022 AM, 
Um, there's going to be a lot of different groups and people around the world doing a global meditation. If people aren't really into meditation, it doesn't really matter. Like even if, even if you just want to sit down for a minute and just breathe calmly and coolly and set a good intention for yourself or for the world, that actually adds to the uh, whole collective intention. You know, there's a whole science behind this that is actually mainstream established. You know, we're not going to go into that whole thing, but you know, meditation and synchronized meditations, there is a deep science to it. And when people come together, it literally can change things in the physical world. So that's what the intention is. A lot of people meditating or praying together, whatever you want to call it. Right. And really trying to make a positive impact in the world to shift things immensely. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, we can share, we can spend a couple seconds on it or minutes on it, but uh, yeah. there's no question. There's tons of science, and people, you know, go within um, in the meditative process in how you can, you know, shut down disease, um, you know, cure. I mean, everything, you know, to go to go into like ancient hermetic or ancient, um, you know, I wouldn't say physics, but just ancient science. Um, you know, everything is about frequency, right? Energy and frequency. And, you know, if I'm going to just use my Hawkins scale of consciousness here, which I always do, um, you know, I, I've been saying this Lance for a long time. We're going to talk about this with EMF, but when you're of a resonant frequency as a being, right? Because these are just physical avatars, you know, uh, harnessing our spiritual energy, which is what we really are. You're really immune to any of the dissonant frequencies of material existence, right? Or physical existence. And that's, you know, of course down here. And a lot of people question me on that and challenge me on that and say, you know, I've had really smart scientists, you know, say like, well, if that's true, you know, go breathe, a, you know, a, a, the COVID a virus in, in, you know, as a highly resonant person, go and take it and, and, and see what, how that works out for you. You know, and I always laugh and I'd be like, well, it would be fine for me because I still, even if I inhale that virus, right, that mutant, that, that pathogen, um, because of where I am as a being and how I treat people and how I live in this physical form, even though that's not who I am, I, it, it's not going to affect me. But again, that's an argument, you know, that you'll have to unfortunately skip over with people who are in that left brain, you know, rigorous intellectual prowess, you know, uh, science, what I call schmeins, you know, where they're just stuck right there. Again, Hawkins talks about being stuck right here at 135. But anyway, um, it's very proven, bro. It's very Absolutely. proven that people that can silence their mind, uh, you know, uh, Walter Russell would say, you know, be silent or be still and know. Um, but when you practice that rigorously of silence, you know, whether it's grounding in nature or it's just meditating peacefully somewhere where you can practice that mind silence, I mean, the amount of joy, the amount of healing, the transcendence that comes to you as a physical being or a spiritual being having a physical experience is unbelievable, right? Absolutely. Um, yeah, if you go to pubmed.gov and you type in meditation and there will be thousands of studies that come up. You know, that's, that, that alone can end the conversation. You know, people, people, I mean, and that's what I tell people about that, about uh, nutraceuticals, about certain nutrients and uh, just like supplements in general. You know, like you go to PubMed, type this in, you'll get hundreds or thousands of studies to do this. And, you know, just one, one thing that I'll briefly talk about with synchronized meditation or group meditation the first published study on this that was really looked at in a very deep scientific way was published by Yale. And basically what happened is they were forced to publish it because of the scientific rigor that went into this particular study. I'm not going to go into the whole thing, but essentially what happened is there was a group of about a thousand meditators that went over to Israel and there was, was during the peak of the Lebanon war and they were all meditating together uh, in the morning and then in the evening. And they did this for about three weeks and they found that the death tolls went down by about 80%, 70 to 80%. And uh, casualty, casualties went down, um, injuries went down, the number of bombs dropped went down scientists looked at time series analysis to rule out, you know, uh, coincidence or just like drifts in data. Right. And they proved 
that it was about a one in uh, 10 million chance that that was just a coincidence, okay? Right. There's no coincidences and in the universe. Exactly, as well. exactly. And they, so Yale was looking at this and it actually took them two years to publish it because they were going through the data over and over and over. And they were trying to basically find a way, okay, how, how can we show that this is not real? Right. But they came to the conclusion, this is real. So they reluctantly, but also I think, you know, at the end, probably happily published it. And then they said, hey, we want others to do this and see what they find. Over the next two years, seven other groups did it. They all found essentially the same data. Right, right. Yeah, and I mean, like you said, there's plenty of studies, you know, with people like, um, you know, yogis and, uh, you know, the, the, the Tibetan monks. I mean, there's, there, there's, there's all sorts of stuff, but let's, I mean, we already know that. I wanna talk about EMF because of how important yeah. it is. So let me just set this up, you know, to my audience, um, guys and gals, you know, this is not me from a church hymnal right now. This is just being honest, right? Like where we're going as a species, regardless of where you are on the vibrational scale, is a much more technologically uh, unstable realm, okay? We are bombarding our physical, biological meat modems with all sorts of electromagnetic frequency from our phones, from the TVs, when you go up, when you go shopping, when you last, when you get into a brand new car, right? Yeah. Like what's coming out of a BMW or a Tesla is EMF, right? I tell people this all the time, right? You don't see me wearing an Apple watch. I don't wear wearables. I don't subject my body, my biological systems. Again, yes, it's a physical avatar and I'm a spiritual being, but I'm still in this physical body now, right? In the third dimension, I'm not subjecting my body to excess technology. Yes. I'm a content creator, influencer, whatever you want to call me. And I am in front of screens, right? But I am protected. I'm wearing my blue light glasses. Uh, I do a lot of things to uh, shield myself, which is the technology that you and your company sells, which we're going to talk about. But I'm saying this because I don't know what is more important as we move into 2021 and beyond as a being, a sovereign soul being to shield yourself from this dissonant technology, this 5G electromagnetic frequencies. And again, blue light. I mean, I can go on and on and on, right, bro? I mean, it's yeah. everything. So that said, how did you get into this, this studying of EMF frequencies and radiation? And why did you obviously found, found EMF harmonized? Yeah, okay. So, um, you know, I studied health science in school and I was always really interested in just wellness, nutrition, health, lifestyle, all sure. of that. And just really started researching a lot of different things. And about 10 years ago, I came across the information of earthing or grounding. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, just literally connecting your bare skin to the earth. And again, you go to PubMed and you type in earthing or grounding. Uh, Steven Sinatra, a medical doctor, yep. he has several published studies on this. This is not anything woo woo. I actually have all of the studies on grounding that were done up until 2018 when I wrote the book, The TOT Bible. They're all in that book. Every single one of them is cited. I mean, at that time, there were 26. Yeah. I'm sure there are literally probably hundreds of more now. But yeah, I'm very familiar with Stephen Sinatra. And I also did a podcast with the guy who's the essentially, you know, given credit as the guy who founded the earthing movement. I forget his name right now, but he's an awesome dude. Uh, yeah. Um, Clint. Clint. Yeah. Clint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing guy. Amazing. Yeah. Dude. That's awesome. Yeah. So I came across that information and really started to understand uh, EMFs more and just energy and frequencies in general and really understanding that our bodies are based off of electricity. Exactly. And magnetism, but you know, we're, we're communicating electromagnetically. Yeah. Our nervous system uses frequencies to communicate. Um, and so, um, fast forwarding up to just recent times, I was able to get in contact with a scientist who, he was one of the few co-founders of Texas Instruments. Oh, wow. And yeah. And so he's worked in this field for 30, 30 plus years yep. uh, as a mechanical engineer. He knows about EMFs. He's designed, uh, some particular patents for 2G and 3G technologies. Nice. So he understands this stuff and he helped to create this really unique technology that 
um, stands out from everyone else. And I, I say this not, you know, as a sales gimmick, sure. but it literally does. It yeah. stands out from all the other EMF technologies out there. And I really want to, um, I guess, be unique in ways that really help push our society forward. So um, had some conversations and uh, partnered with him and I started EMF Harmonized and uh, now I'm helping to bring this technology out even more. To, and to you're more doing an people. awesome job on it, dude. Um, okay, so let's break it down for people that don't know what the hell we're talking about, right? So what yeah. is an EMF? Yeah, okay. So like you said earlier, electromagnetic frequencies or electromagnetic fields. It's really the same thing. Those right. terms are interchangeable. So right. uh <clears throat> easy, relatable concept. So you got the phone that you're either listening to this podcast on or the computer or tablet or whatever. Those devices communicate with towers in a way where they're transmitting data back and forth. They're transmitting information slash data back and forth. But for that to happen, certain electromagnetic fields are needed for those uh for that data to be transferred okay and so what's most commonly used is uh, rf waves or radio frequency waves that's what most of these devices are using okay and that is what is actually has shown to be harmful to us we'll get into that in a little bit but um in general terms it's just frequencies that are coming off of these devices but also it extends to even like the sun and, right. and the visible and non-visible light. Like, as you know, uh, photobiomodulation with red light, uh, that is technically an EMF, but a very beneficial EMF. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. I got my juve in the other room right now. Okay. So and what's funny, I, you were just making me think like we're all energy and frequency, right? Like Walter Russell would say, we are nothing more than the electric waves of the divine mind, right? But we have will and intention, and that's what separates us as souls. But it's pretty fascinating to really start thinking about this when a person really starts thinking about things in terms of energy and frequency. Because again, you know, and I'll use my experience um, doing plant medicine. When you use 5-MeO DMT, you literally, again, if you're the right vibration, you're not somebody taking it down here because I don't want to know what your experience might be. But <laughs> if you're of the right vibrational level, when you take this and you're not in fear and you're in surrender, man, you realize your energy and frequency because you are now as a spiritual psycho spiritual, you know, essence outside of your body. You know, you're in the field, you're feeling this energy and frequency. When, you know, I wrote a really awesome article on it. I went really, really deep on it when I wrote it last year in December, but I've done it three times. And on the last um, experience that I did, you know, I set the intention of like, this is going to be cathartic. This is going to, change everything for me. And I'm going to get answers that I've really always wanted again, as a psycho spiritual being. And dude, I was in that field of that energy and frequency. And I always tell people that like, if you want to go down that path and it's not for everyone, right. But if you're, you want to go down that path and you're of the right resonant frequency, you will be experienced or ex the best word is really just like exploded into the source field. And you realize that you're just a free floating cosmic blob that's like slinky like i don't know really how to describe it but your essence your immaterial self is what you're talking about you're like electric waves like you would you would be if you saw it physically it would be like bio photons charged in an orange like orb or like a, you know like a pulsing electromagnetic field and that's really what we are right yes we're in these bodies and you're lance Shut shuttler and i'm jay campbell but that's not who we are right we're souls we're spiritual beings and so it's just it's so fascinating to really start thinking of things of like energy and frequency and again when you realize that now why is it so much more important to have technology like you guys have developed to shield us because lance the whole fucking world is becoming technologically it, not just dependent, but like it's everywhere. It's ubiquitous. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It, you can't get away from it. I mean, no. unless you're, uh, you know, you super biohack your life. Or you live in Montana and you're yeah. completely off the grid and you're independently wealthy. But then yeah. even them, like I, I, I laugh. I mean, like, what are you using? Like a system of like, uh, you know, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, like you're just sharing, you're like, a, you have a farm like down the street and somebody brings you the eggs and you bring them the chickens or, you know, you bring them the cow. I mean, yeah, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, 
I mean, bro, look, we, we can sit here and we can say, oh, well, you can get off the grid, but how are you going to get off the grid in today's world? It's all technologically driven. You know, Michael lives in South Lake Tahoe. You know, I'm down here in Murrieta. We're both in pretty rural areas now, but I mean, if I want to send him money, bro, I got to use a bank. <laughs> yeah. I got to electronically transfer the money and then he has to have a place to register. So anyway, there's, there's really no way to escape technology now. And so that said, you have to shield yourself, right? It's literally yeah. that simple. Okay. Yeah. So for 5G, dude, let's talk about 5G. Okay. And yeah. the studies on 5G. And before you go, obviously, you know, Mike, you're, we're writing an article. You are helping my copywriter write an article because I want to write an article about how important all this is. And it's like, you know, people are like, well, there really is a lot of real data on 5G and we don't really know. And the jury's still out. And, I, you know, I will say to that bullshit, we don't even have data on how harmful these things are when you put them up to your head and you speak to them. Because you and I know, right? I, 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 this is an 11 plus. I'm not upgraded yet, bro. But the, 12, <laughs> the 12 plus has a ma massively powerful chip in there. Yeah. But who knows what kind of energy and frequency is coming out of that? And I got news for people. It ain't good. Right. Especially right. when it's real close to your biological systems. If you're sleeping at bed at night next to your phone and you have an iPhone 12 plus pro, you are massively harmful harming yourself unless you're using their tech but anyway just talk a little bit about 5g and where we are in our understanding yeah. okay so in general so we know that uh 4g and below and radio frequency waves in general uh are harmful to biological organisms and that is um uh, overwhelmingly uh confirmed right. in, in, in the scientific literature. Yeah. And, you know, there's so much that you can go into with that. Um, and relating to 5G, so there's this thought, or this belief, and you kind of brought it up earlier. People are like, oh, well, it's not harmful. The, the scientists say it's not, it's not bad, so forth. Well, I, yeah, I, I want to explain this, why it is, and how they can get away with saying this. Well, first, first we know that in general, if there's uh, industry involved, it doesn't matter. People lie. It's just oh, it's yeah. like big tobacco. But also I, I want to go a little bit further into this. So 5G, there are studies showing how 5G is harmful and we'll talk about that. But for argument's sake, there's very little in relation to 4G and below. Okay. And so what happens is the media and industry spins the wording very, very cleverly. Okay, so what they do is they say, there's no proof to show that 5G is not safe. Okay, so what they're saying is, because there's so little uh, studies on specific 5G, we're just gonna say it's safe, okay? Right. Right. That's not true. That's not true. What the, it's like you're ignoring half the conversation and just looking at what you want to look at. Okay. Right. So they're very clever with their wording and very manipulative. It's, it's very deceptive. Also, the other point. So we have thousands of studies showing how 4G and below and RF waves are harmful to biological organisms. Okay. Now you ramp up that frequency massively with 5G. How in the world is that not going to be at least just as harmful and almost certainly even more harmful? Right. Okay. Exactly. So like that right there also ends the conversation. It's yeah. like we have a lower frequency that is already damaging and you up the frequency and people are saying, well, it's not harmful. That, that makes zero sense whatsoever. Right. Right. Well, um, listen, you and I both know, bro, that these people, again, I use the word people loosely because <laughs> I don't want to go so conspiratorial right now, but I mean, you yeah. know, you're one of yeah. us, so I mean, I can, but like, let's face it, you know, Robert Stanley, I'm about to sneeze. If I do, I apologize. But Robert Stanley and I did a deep dive. I think I, I, I calmed it down, dude. We set the intention that I wasn't going to sneeze. But um, Robert Stanley and I did a very big deep dive on this in the very part of the year about the fallen angels and the fall of Atlantis all of that, it all, that whatever these hyperdimensional beings are, 
whatever they are, they have this like way where they want the electromagnetic distortion and frequency to be much higher. So again, we're getting more and more close to this like transhumanistic, higher, you know, negative energy, higher electromagnetic frequency, because it seemingly, this is what they exist in. And if you go back again to Atlantis and before it fell, it was a very high technological society. You were using crystal tech. They were using all sorts of shit that yeah. we're probably not even there yet, right? And that all collapsed inward on itself. And it's like I said, and again, Walter Russell said this, and a lot of smart, much smarter people than me have said this, nothing Lance that's inorganic is sustainable. Yeah. It all will ultimately collapse. So all of this tech, this new age, you know, better life, better technology, none of it is going to replace us as, you know, microprocessors that were created by source, by God, yeah. you know, the, the, the energy and frequency of our brains and our heart, you know, I call it kind of a resonance capacitor. The heart is far more powerful and, and, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, just perfect in resonance than any of the dissonant shit that technology creates. And that's what people have to realize. And that's why people like you are so important to create technology that can shield yeah. us from this frequency because bro, it's not positive. No, it's not. And, you know, going back to the 5g for people that want to look specifically, look up Dr. Martin Paul, P A L L. Um, he's from Washington state. He's actually written a free book, um, online on 5g specifically. He's also has many, many, many published studies on 4g and lower. And he has all of the references there. He talks all about how it affects us. It, it, it affects our systems in many different ways, but he, he lays out basically eight different, uh, physiological, uh, mechanisms that, that these electromagnetic fields impact us with. So the first is, um, neurologically, right. And especially brain, a lot of people like I'm getting a lot of feedback from people on their headaches going away right now. You know, I can't market it as a product that's going to take away your headaches. Everyone's different, but there are people getting that feedback. Maybe some people's headaches are, are due to nutritional deficiencies or something else. So not all headaches are related to EMFs, but some people do feel benefits with that. Also, um, more of like psychological issues like depression, um, manic depression, um, bipolar, things like that. They've actually shown physio physiologically how those conditions can come about um, physically through, through EMF radiation. Um, it's really interesting stuff what he has done uh, there's also another organization that's called the International EMF Scientist Appeal. This is like the most prestigious in that there's 253 now scientists from around the world from 44 countries who have signed a basically a, a memorandum or a, an agreement together to where they are challenging the WHO, they're challenging the CDC, they're challenging other large organizations in what the FCC as well, in what the standards are for safety limits in EMF radiation. So I'll just go a little bit further too. Yeah, to even become part of this organization, you have to have published a paper, a peer reviewed paper on electromagnetic fields and how it affects biological organisms. So right. these are literally tip 253 of the world's true experts on EMFs. And they are saying, not only 4G and below is dangerous, but especially 5G. Right. And we need to be looking at safety limits and implementing safety measures everywhere. Yeah, and again, and their, that, that, their, their field of study, again, the world's top 250 or whatever experts, the world's literally brightest and best and brightest when it comes to this are just looking at 4G and below. Hello? Right. Yeah. I mean, it's like, duh, it's like ring the bell dong, but bro, again, it's just, I mean, how often can people like you and I say this? It's like all of this shit goes on in plain sight. Yeah. It goes on around all of us. And I shouldn't say all of us because some of us are truly with eyes to see. And we know that's why I have you on the show. That's why I'm 
screaming to the heavens how important it is to shield yourself from this. But like, you know, if you want to just say, oh, Jay, you're full of shit. You're a conspiracy theorist, tinfoiler, whatever. That's fine. You know, it's a free world. Choose to be in dissonance. You know, as I say now, me and Michael say it, resonance or dissonance, you get to choose. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Quick commercial for the Optimized Tribe with U.S. Navy SEAL Michael Jaco and I every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is not a single group online where you will get the highest level intel that Michael and I can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health to improving your fitness, to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness. There isn't a single group online with two dudes like Michael and myself helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link, theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys and I send you tremendous love and light. It's literally that simple. You can either pay attention, look at the science. That's the best part about you, Lance, and your company is that, you know, when all the, you know, the, the scientists come at me and say, hey, bro, you got to study for that. I'm like, well, yeah, actually, plenty yeah. of studies. Yeah. So it's like, you can't avoid this. You can't deny this. You can't, you know, step around this. This is the future. Again, unless, you know, the angels come down tomorrow or hopefully they come down on the solstice. But I mean, I mean, in, in truth, unless we have divine intervention, and I don't know how that would work, dude, you have to shield yourself. Because yeah. again, this society, this physical existence, this realm is becoming pure EMF. It's everywhere. I mean, bro, you said about headaches to people like, I know this for a fact. And obviously, I've been protecting myself. But if I wake up in the middle of the night to take a piss, and I go and I look at my camp, my phone, what time is it? Yeah. Instantly, I've impacted my dopaminergic and uh, dendritic pathways in my brain because now I've been exposed to that blue light, the intensity of that blue light, the intensity of that EMF coming out of that phone because I'm looking at it like this, I'm half asleep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, people that are sleeping at night, bro, with their phone check plugged in next to them, using it as an alarm, are fucking themselves up. People that sleep at night wearing an Apple Watch are fucking themselves up. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand how simple you have to be to know that you are wearing a transmitter on your body. Now, granted, I'm not going to go total freak. I have a phone. You and I live, we have businesses, we have to make money, we have to connect with clients and partners and customers. So we can't like just totally get rid of it. But at the same time, if you're not smart, and how you use these devices, Lance, you are absolutely subjecting your biological systems to harm. It's literally that simple, bro. Absolutely. I tell people the two easiest things that they can do that, that can impact a lot of people is unplug your router at night. Right. Or like, you know, you and I were talking about Ben Greenfield. He has a switch. I mean, you can deck out your whole home to basically switch it off. You can yeah, also but very few people have that kind no. of money. And, no, or, no, no, or no. Even, or even in that, you know what? I'm glad you brought that up. That's a good point because you have to be in the wilds if that makes any sense, right? Because I right. could, living in LA when I was living in subdivision in West Covina, you know, I could shut my shit down and it wouldn't fucking matter. My whole yeah. neighborhood is being bombarded. Absolutely, yeah. So at minimum, unplug your router at night and like Jay said, don't sleep with your phone. Don't sleep with an Apple oh. Watch. Uh, like all those things, if, if, if your sleep's getting tracked, you need to look. Like that's, that's cool and that's good, but you also need to look what sort of uh, EMFs are those things emitting. Well, that's the thing I told you right before this podcast yep. or last week that I'm using eight sleep. And it's amazingly profound sleep. But I mean, the pod is right next to the bed, bro. It's yep. tracking everything. Yeah. How much is that, you know, what kind of signal is that emitting? I mean, it hasn't affected me yet, but I mean, that's like I told you. I mean, it's just, it's just, it, that's a perfect example. It's like where we go, we want to track everything. We want to track and measure and all these things. But it's like the more we track and measure, the more technology is around us, the more it is hitting our body. So again, that's why you're the guy. It's like, you know, I, I told my wife, I was like, when I, you know, first got introduced to you about three weeks ago, I was like, oh my God. I don't have to worry about the, the eight sleep anymore because we're going to get these technology. We're going to put it all over our room. We're going to have it all over our devices. So, all right. So let's talk about 
Tesla, before we get into your products and we let you yeah. talk about the products, let's talk a little bit about the, how does the tech, Tesla technology. Now, my audience is very familiar with Tesla coils. I've cool. talked a lot about that. Um, you know, I've had two or three experts talking about free energy and talking about how um, all that, how that technology works. So feel free to speak at a very high level about this. Okay. So Tesla helped to bring out a discovery. And I, I say bring out a discovery because, you know, the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, all, all already exists. Tesla was merely the vessel to bring this information out. So he helped bring out Beautiful. this discovery of something called scalar waves or longitudinal scalar waves, which defies certain uh, aspects of uh, conventional physics today. Okay. And it really relates to how uh, information can be stored and transferred and how um, frequencies work. Um, so basically, uh, it, it can also can create conditions of over, over unity, which, you know, is, is free energy. Right. Um, so what we have done is we're taking longitudinal scalar waves and we're applying it to the technology in a very unique way. So what we're doing essentially is we can uh, mathematically calculate frequencies of certain uh, nutrients or uh, vitamins or minerals or polyphenols, polyphenols especially. Nice. And we look at them based on their structure and their structure, it's like geometry and their structure is creating a certain frequency that we can calculate. And we will take that information with the scalar waves and we will then uh, program or imprint holograms with that frequency. Okay. And so those holograms then are storing a lot of different beneficial frequencies that are good for us humans or uh, animals as well, or plants even. We, we've studied this on plants too. Um, so what happens with, uh, how this relates to EMF is that this technology will actually emit beneficial frequencies that then communicates literally with our DNA. And, you know, I know that's a big statement, um, but again, going back to, a, a very well-known published study of Dr. Martin Blank, who was also an expert in EMFs, and he led the International EMF Appeal, um, that group of scientists. He published a study showing how DNA acts as a fractal antenna. Right. So it's an antenna that is absorbing frequencies, both beneficial and harmful ones. Right. So literally what we're doing with this technology is we have frequencies that are programmed into these holograms that when they're activated by heat, which can be done with a phone or any device or even the body. Um, those frequencies are then released into the area, the beneficial ones, and it literally signals to the body biologically, hey, all is well. You don't need to stress out in the presence of EMS. So kind of tying this all together, our technology is not blocking EMFs. And, and we make that very clear. Like if you use a tri-field meter, you're not going to see a reduction in EMFs. Okay. Right. But what you will, what, what many people feel and what will happen for everyone, regardless if you feel it or not, is that those beneficial frequencies will be signaling to your biology and your physiology to act in a homeostatic way while in the presence of EMFs. So if you're not using this stuff, like we've been talking about, whether you feel it or not, those EMFs are going to be harming you slowly, but surely. Right. And slowly degrading your DNA, damaging DNA and creating a whole cascade of harmful physiological effects. This stuff, our technology, on the other hand, what it is doing is it's signaling to the body to stay in homeostasis or, you know, go back to homeostasis. Right. And make things uh, balance out in a good way. Beautiful. Uh, and, and I'll just, you know, be very open right now. Um, you guys have been changing your marketing and packaging and, and products. So I am not currently using that, but I will say that I've spoken in very great detail with Michael Jaco, who's been using them now for a couple of months. Many of his um, audience are now my audience. I've been getting tons of emails and feedback, you know, our private group, the optimized tribe.com. 
We have all sorts of amazing feedback from your tech. So, I mean, like, dude, I'm so excited. Like I said, I mean, I'm not using them right now for full disclosure, but I'll, I'll do, we'll, you and I will do a new book, another podcast and say 90 to 120 days. And we'll talk yeah. about my experience, you know, yeah. protecting, shielding my house, but let, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I do have one more question. So like, explain, um, explain like how they create a field or how they actually will, you know, technically, I mean, you kind of talked a little bit, but how are they really for, in a very layman's terms, like how are they shielding someone when they're using their phone, for example? So, okay. So while someone has a phone, let's say they're not using any sort of EMF protection. Okay. Those EMFs are, by the way, what is that? 95% of people on the planet right now? Easily. <laughs> easily. <laughs> right. There are very few people who watch my show in a Faraday cage. <laughs> uh, yeah. So <clears throat> the EMFs will then be communicating with the DNA because we know DNA. This is, this is the mechanism through which all of the biological cascading events happen. Right. Okay. So right. it all starts at the DNA level because that's right. the antenna. So the frequencies are picked up by the DNA, DNA signals to the cell, hey, create this sort of harmful physiological effect. Whether right. you feel it or not, it depends on the person. Right. What our technology is doing is when it's act, okay, so those holograms are activated, it's stored frequencies within the holograms. Right. And those holograms can be activated or turned on, so to speak. And I'll explain what that means. It's not just, you know, a, a, a loose term that they're actually literally turned on. Um, the micro amounts of heat that come off of a device. And again, we'll, we'll go into how this relates to the body with our right. body relief patches. But what is happening is the micro amounts of heat activate those holograms to then literally release the frequencies around uh that device so like i got my phone here and right. i've got my case on my my uh disc is below my case and you want it on phone itself so i'm using this right now it's turned on there's a signal coming through that signal micro amounts of heat is activating that hologram to release the frequencies and we've tested this in a way to where it is impacting the body in, a, in about a six foot radius, okay? So I got this phone and we, we, we know that my field is being protected because literally frequencies are being blasted out of that hologram right. that are known beneficial frequencies to our physiology. Now, I get it that this is like, for some people, this is like, what are you talking about? This is insane. Fr like frequencies are getting coming are coming off of this hologram. How is that even possible? Right. Um, it's happening. You can also look at our website and we have a, a, I think the most impressive study that we've done is we took a cell phone, subjected it without protection to red blood cells, white blood cells. Right. And showed how, well, first baseline, just how they normally look. They're they're round, they're circle. They're they have their boundaries. They're uh, electrically charged on the surface area so that right. they maintain a boundary. Yep. And flow. Then you put the phone up next to them. Something start ha starts happening where they start roping, and what's happening is they're losing their negative electrical charge. Right. And so they start grouping or roping together and kind of clumping together. And what that is gonna do is two things. Uh, the hemoglobin uh, will not be able to carry the oxygen. Oxygen can't get out, or get through the body. Um, then you also see that these cells start slowing down because they're, they're roping together and it's just right. like a big mass that can't flow through uh, the veins, the arteries, so forth. Um, and then when we put the disc on it, you can see that it starts regaining its negative electrical charge. And so what's happening is that those cells are picking up on the frequencies and they're regaining the negative surface potential to then go back to what homeostasis should be, which is a negative electrical charge. Right. Dude. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So to make this, because that was awesome. 
Um, I mean, I, I don't want to even ask. We had one of these points, like, what proof do you have? I mean, like, you've already given enough proof, bro. Like, you're yeah. on the Jay Campbell podcast. If you're, if you're still watching the show right now and you think this is bullshit, then unfollow <laughs> me and unsubscribe and delete yourself immediately. Um, I, I, can, I can say a few more things, too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you want to. I mean, I don't really think we need to. I mean, I, I would just literally say, you know, go into um, – last point before we get into you know how 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 much of a good samaritan you know just talk about your body relief patches i guess and and if you want to pull a couple of them yeah. out right now and just kind of show them let's just talk about it please yeah so that's the packaging and then these are the actual patches um so and you can look at this on on the website as well so we've done some thermography tests on these body relief patches and we showed Again, baseline with people who were inflamed, and you can see the red inflammation in those thermography uh, tests. Okay, and then you put the. We actually did did have discs, but we've upgraded to patches. They're they're stronger. We've uh, used newer frequencies or, or different frequencies that we've shown to be even stronger, and and the patches work better. But the thermography was all with the discs, and. You can see it's a time lapse video, but it's a time lapse. Is this actually on science? Is it on the science link? Because I can show the screen real quick and show it. Yeah, it should be down at the very bottom of that page. Okay, let me show it real quick. And basically, it's going to time lapse over about 15 to 20 minutes. And right uh, yeah, right there. Okay. And what happens is you can literally see the inflammation uh going down in real time so and it'll start shifting green so you can see it up and towards towards the uh top area and down in the lower back um this one is even more dramatic wow yeah and you know let me just say real quick i mean again my audience is very smart but as you know lance and you know uh, everything is inflammation guys everything all disease every disease state every aging disease everything that you know, that a physical body can stop working from is due to cellular inflammation. And inflammation comes from lifestyle, from EMF, all sorts of shit causes inflammation. So the less inflammation you have in your body, the longer uh, and more vigorous and more health your cells will be, correct? Correct, yeah, yeah. And that was from a, a, a scientist from Duke. Um, we have, um, you know, we're taping this a few weeks before it comes out, but we right. have uh, some wristbands that will have the holograms in there as well. Um, and we will also be able to show even more studies with that too. Um, awesome. But those, those wristbands, um, by the time this airs, they should be live you, and you should be able to see them on the site. Those will help with EMF protection, but also like what this is doing and like really what this company is about it's using frequencies to positively physiologically impact us okay so the wristband it's like i mean in basic simplistic terms it's literally what we would call like energy medicine but in a way that can be uh studied in a western scientific model right so this is why we really we know that it's cutting edge we know that it's advanced the fact that we're using scalar waves is very unique um and we're really, we have a lot of ideas to push this forward in, in some really incredible ways. Beautiful, man. All right. So the last point, and then I'll let you, um, we'll, we'll talk about how people can connect with you and obviously um, purchase your products is, and I think this is amazing, man. And, you know, how many people are really doing this, but you donate a portion of your profits to survivors of human trafficking, rape, and sexual abuse. Talk a little bit about that for a second. Yeah. So, um, Clearly, you and I and, and many, if not most, if not all of your listeners know about the human trafficking epidemic that is happening right now. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it is. Uh, well, it's for sure being uh, addressed um, at, at least on, on some levels, yep. um, hopefully on massive levels, and hopefully we can see that very soon. Um, but to me, like that is 
just especially the human trafficking aspect, but also rape and, and sexual abuse, you know, yep. those are all different, but also conjoined. Yep. Um, that stuff needs to end and it needs to end yesterday. Totally. And, you know, there's many wonderful things that people are doing in terms of therapy for survivors of this stuff. And all of those therapies should be used as long as they're actually helping people. Um, and where I actually really want to go with this. So right now we're just donating some funds to a, an organization that we know is helping people. This place has been, has been vetted. I know someone who uh, experienced help from this place, because as you know, not all of these organizations fighting the trafficking are actually fighting it. Some are aiding right. the trafficking. Right. Um, but we're right now we're donating uh, funds to that to help out. But where we're ultimately going to go with this is take those allocated funds and buy flower essences and essential oils. And those are two different things. Um, sometimes people confuse them as the same thing, but they're different. Right. And donate them to uh, survivors of these uh, traumas because nice, yes, they need pe people like who've experienced that need, you know, whatever Western counseling or Western medicine counseling, therapy, whatever, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, they need and they want and they long for soul healing. Right. And no, no pharmaceutical can do that. No. And, and we'll never be able to do that. Definitely not. So these flower essences, especially, and when you combine them with essential oils and aromatherapy, it really impacts a person psychologically um, and also mentally on a physical level, but then emotional and spiritually. And, you know, there's many, many wonderful practitioners, doctors, psychotherapists who are using these therapies for people ranging from a wide variety of uh, challenges. So I want to bring awareness to using flower essences and essential oils for trauma in general. And that's that's something anyone can use. You know, we've all had our own trauma in some sort of way and flower essences and essential oils can be very helpful on all levels, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. Beautiful, man. That's awesome, um, Lance. That you're, you, you and your partner have a heart like that. It's very important to um, give back and serve. And that's awesome, man. I'm really, really, really proud of you and really glad to be connected to you about that. Um, let me just ask you before I tell people how to go. So let, let me just give a couple of situations and you tell me like what a person would need, right? Because that's what normally people are like, dude, he said so much about it, but I went to the site. What the hell am I supposed to buy? Right? So it's like, yeah. okay, so you're a person, you have a cell phone, you have a laptop and a, and a tablet. That's most people today functioning. And yeah. if it's not, if it's not most people, it's you at least have a phone and a, and a computer. So yeah. what would you, what would a person right now who needs, you know, EMF protection, how would you recommend they go on your site and, and purchase what? Yeah. Okay. So for the cell phone, for sure, the cell phone protection disc, um, for a computer, a tablet, an iPad, a router, uh, those things you want to use the, uh, what we call computer protection strips. Um, you want to put them on the devices. Okay. So like the phone, if you have a case or a cover, you want to take the cover off, put it on the phone itself, and then you can put your cover back on. The cover will not impact the technology in any negative way. Nice. You also want to make sure that you don't bend or crease it in any significant way, because basically those holograms will not be able to transmit those frequencies because it is a very sensitive technology. Um, other things that people put them on, people put them on their smart TVs, uh, microwaves, people will put them on, uh, smart meters for sure. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, well, I, thankfully I don't have a smart meter in my house. Yeah. I never really get, um, <laughs> but if you have an Eero, right? Because a lot of people have Eero's routers, right? The, the extenders, should those, yeah. should one be on every single Eero's or just the base station? So um, it, it depends Okay, ideally, but if if the base, okay, if the if the extenders are in an, in a room where you're at, then definitely on those. If okay. the base is somewhere where no one's at, um, you, you're fine. Right, I got you. Um, so yeah. I mean, I need a lot in my house, bro. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be telling people about, like, hey, man, you're going to have to be. I mean, let's face it. The most technologically evolved people are the ones that are doing all the streaming and the broadcasting and doing all this. And it's like, hey, man, we need bandwidth. But at the same time, we need protection and we need to be shielded from these harmful tech. So, I mean, you created the tech, man. It's amazing, dude. All right. Well, if people want to purchase, if they want to go and obviously connect with you, I mean, more people after they see you on this podcast are going to be asking to do a podcast with you. I already know that how that works in this industry, but like, what's the best way for people to connect with you? And then of course, purchase the products. Uh, so, you know, purchasing the products, definitely use Jay's link uh, and, and do it through Jay. We want to make sure that Jay gets full credit for this. So, uh, you know, I, I'm assuming your link will be down in the description. Absolutely. So guys, please yep. use Jay's link. That's uh, the most respectful way we can do that. Um, and then connecting with me, I'm, I'm personally on Facebook. Uh, our company is on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you can also contact us through email um, on our website. Those are the best ways to connect with me. Awesome, bro. Listen, man, I really appreciate you coming on the podcast today. This is going to be very helpful both spiritually and physically uh, to everyone who watches the Jay Campbell podcast. And again, to all of you guys, I implore you, you know, go to the website. My link will be in the bottom of this video on YouTube and you'll start seeing uh, actually today we launched an ad on the, on the site uh, on jccampbell.com. So I'm going to be promoting this technology because obviously I realize the importance of it. Um, you know, Lance is giving a lot of the profits that will be generated by you guys purchasing and protecting yourself to people who need it in, those who have been traumatized through sexual rape or, or uh, trafficking. So as always, as I say, please support the amazing people who come on the Jay Campbell podcast. Without those guys, there would be no Jay Campbell podcast. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Go to emfharmonized.com and use the Jay Campbell link. I think it's forward slash J-A-Y. There's like a reference number on there, but uh, yeah, appreciate you coming on today, brother. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate it. This was awesome. I know it's going to help a lot of people. Definitely. Yeah.